I'm Brittany from St. Albert Dodge. I'm going to be showing you the 2018 Dodge Grand Caravan. Coming up on the front of this vehicle, we can see we've got the cross grille front with the Dodge badging. We've also got your daytime running LED headlights. And now let's take a look under, under the, hood. the hood here. We have the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 VVT engine. And this engine is equipped with 283 horsepower. Coming up on the side of the vehicle here, we do have the 17 inch silver rims. And following to the back of the vehicle, we have our LED tail lights. We've got the Grand Caravan as well as the Dodge and Crew badging. You do have a side exhaust and your backup camera is just below the D here. Another feature of this vehicle is that it does have the power lift gate. Press the button behind and it lifts the tailgate for you. Taking a look inside, we can see there's plenty of storage space in this vehicle, quite the depth underneath, and you do have a cubby on the other side here. This row also completely folds down if you do need the extra space, and with the power lift gate, you do have a button here that lowers it down back for you. Now let's take a closer look inside this vehicle. Inside this vehicle, we can see we do have these black leather bucket seats. We've got the fold down armrest as well. And we do have the black interior. Uh, in the middle, we do have our 6.5 touchscreen display. Now you can see this display is compatible with Sirius XM. It's also Bluetooth compatible. You can pair your phone whether to make calls or play music. You've also got a navigation system in the vehicle here. Uh, just below that, you do have all your climate controls. Uh, the seats in the front here are heated as well as the steering wheel, and you do have a button to lock the controls in the back. And you've also got your eco mode, your power button, traction control, and your hazard just below that. Down here, you do have a small area for storage, as well as two in the middle here. These are covered ones, being that they have these uh, little pieces that go over them. In this one, you've got a bit of area for storage, as well as two 12-volt DC inputs. You've got your cup holders in the middle, and in the back, another covered one that you can pull back. And you can see you've got a change holder and a two-tiered storage area. In Looking there. at our leather-wrapped heated steering wheel, we can see on the right-hand side we do have all of our cruise control settings. And on the left-hand side, we've got our uh, voice recognition, phone command, as well as our dash controls. Right now, we can see we've got a digital display here with a digital speedometer. You can also have uh, your fuel economy, what's playing, vehicle speed, trip info, vehicle information, any stored messages, what your units are in, and your overall system setup in this display here. If we take a look just above the rear view mirror, we've also got some buttons up here that control the doors, turn on and off uh, the door switches to open them, as well as a power lift gate. Now let's take a closer look in the back of this vehicle. In the second row here, we have the same black uh, leather seating with the bucket seats and the fold down armrest. We've also got some pockets on the back of the passenger and driver seats, as well as on the side there, you do have your window controls. You've got a uh, latch to close this door as well as an automatic button there and you do have a area to place a water bottle or any closed container and then if we take a look in the third row the very back of the vehicle we can see we've got the same again black leather and we do have some storage on either side and running along the middle here we do have some storage areas as well as your climate controls on the roof in the back here. another key feature in this vehicle is its rear view camera which has the park assist lines which is created here on the screen to let you know how close and how far you are from the objects behind you. I'm Brittany from St. Albert Dodge. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact us down here at St. Albert Dodge. Thanks so much for watching.